Calling all Chonky Boy armor enjoyers as well as specimen examiners, this is Spruce and Studs, and today we are going to be finally concluding the Indominus box with the review of the very interesting figure, the Apothecary Biologus. I'm not exactly too sure why this figure was created, but it was created and it was made into an action figure. So there's only one thing to do, but take a very deep dive into this little specimen. All right, folks, let's dive into the meat of this review. And the first thing I'm gonna do is comment on the general aesthetic of this action figure, starting off with the off-white armor. I think that the color choice is very interesting. It kind of adds a weathered look to this action figure. I also find that the shading on the edges of the armor adds a little extra dimension, a little extra kick, rather than just a regular white action figure. And then talking about the role of the apothecary biologist is weird because this unit is technically not an apothecary in my opinion. Apothecaries typically heal and retrieve the gene seed of fellow fallen marines. This guy doesn't heal and he retrieves biomatter of Xenos. So this guy's a little bit strange. But anyways, I digress. Let's focus in on the helmet over here. And it could be a diagnoster helmet, but I'm just gonna say it's a regular helmet. So there is a glowing green lens. There is also a red lens so that the Space Marine likely can see charts, schematics, and readouts. There's also this interesting metallic blue lens array, which I'm sure that probably helps the Marine focus in on the work that he is doing. So there's also this thing called the Prime Helix that is found on all apothecaries. Now let's take a look at the pauldron here. And clearly there is a gold wing skull. And then you have the Helix that is in the back of this gold wing skull. And one thing that I see or actually don't see is any kind of shading in between the feathers of this symbol right here. I've noticed that Joy Toy has kind of gotten away from some of the shading on these areas, which is kind of interesting. And then we will move on to the other pauldron where we get to see an ultramarine zoo and you have these laurels as well as a double aquila. This is screened on actually very nicely. There are no issues with it whatsoever. Now, as we move on down to the left arm, he has an instrument panel complete with these metallic lights down here. There's also a grid light area, probably likely to display the analysis of specimens inside the Vivis spectrum, in which I will get to in a second. What I find interesting, and I alluded to this before, there is no Narcethium, which is commonly found on the right arm. So now we have arrived to the middle section of this action figure. There is these armor panels on the front that I had commented earlier before. There is a very characteristic Joy Toy shaded loincloth over here, complete with the deeper red look in the recesses, as well as the lighter red areas and the raised sections of it. What I find interesting is that there are a pair of tongs and surgical scissors to help with specimen extraction and cutting. And as we flip over on the other side, get to see the prime helix again in a very blazing red color. The holster has no shading or highlighting whatsoever. There's also a little pouch that's over here. And then on the other side of the waist, there is only a purity seal. Now flipping over completely to the back of this action figure, there is an interesting piece of equipment on the back. It appears to have red and silver buttons over here and a metallic green display. What's really curious to me are the canisters that are hooked up to this instrument panel right here. There appears to be some sort of like futuristic biohazard symbol. I'm not exactly too sure what the function of this thing is. I know the lore masters of this channel know, so please let me know in the comments section what the heck this thing is. So anyways, we will flip over to the front and flip over the loincloth and see what we find. There's really nothing too much except more shading on the areas of the kneecaps. There is another screen on Ultramarine's U, as well as a gold skull. And that is pretty much it for the body of the action figure itself. 
Now let's take a look at the servo harness. And unfortunately, for some odd reason, my servo harness fell apart. It came from the factory this way. I think there was some sort of pin that was supposed to hold this in place. If you take a closer look, it looks like this area is a little bit chipped off, which is a little bit disappointing. But anyways, let's take a look at this servo harness. It is complete with a mini saw to likely saw off the bone and perhaps the chitin. It kind of looks like a mini chainsaw to me, which is kind of cool. And then on the other end, there is a scalpel-like attachment likely for more precise cutting. And this metallic area in between is a dark gunmetal color that has been dry brushed a silver to give more of a weathered kind of look. You can see this is very prevalent. And then there is a large flat yellow spotlight. I wish this was more of a glowy metallic yellow instead of this flat one to help with vision as well as lighting up specimens. And there are extra red and blue lenses here. And now let's focus in on the Vivis Spectrum. The Vivis Spectrum is attached to the body of the action figure. And then the Vivis Spectrum itself is made up of three different colors. So you have the very familiar gunmetal of the bolt rifles all throughout. It's broken up by this black section. And then in the middle of it is a glowing blue window so that the apothecary can see the tissues inside. And the final thing that we're gonna take a look at is the Absolver bolt pistol. And I really like how the Absolver bolt pistol looks, complete with the black casing that you typically find on all these bolt weapons. And then the gunmetal accents here. Unfortunately, there does not appear to be any sort of sheeting as well as weathering on this bolt pistol. And the most interesting thing to me is the helix right here that has the skull actually integrated to it. And that concludes the review of this very unique action figure. And I will close this out with my final thoughts. All right, folks, let's start off with the things that I didn't like about this action figure. The biggest thing I don't like about it is the attachment of the Vivis Spectrum to the body of the action figure. I think that the attachment of it kind of restricts the movement of this action figure. I usually like it when the figures are free flowing and don't have any inhibitions whatsoever. So it would have been nice if Joito actually allowed the hoses to detach properly. The second thing is really not the figure itself, it's more of the manufacturer. Unfortunately, for some odd reason, we've come across quite a few errors from the factory. I'm not a fan of receiving my action figures semi-broken, and unfortunately the servo harness was broken when I received it, which is a bit of a disappointment. That again is not that big of a deal. I could probably reach out and ask for a replacement. But with those two small annoying things aside, this is still a very solid action figure in that I do really like that very cool Absolver bolt pistol with the skull integrated into the helix. The overall color of the action figure is also very unique. I like how there is a weathered white look. Interestingly enough, I think the servo harness itself is pretty awesome, especially with the mini chainsword as well as the mini scalpel. Now the thing is, would I actually recommend this figure? Um, I don't know. This is a very interesting and very niche figure. I don't think that everybody is going to like it. I don't know where it really fits in the lore, but if you're into apothecaries, go ahead and get it. And where should you get this action figure? Well, you should get it at David Toys where I get all of my action figures. And then before you check out, please use the code SNS to receive 12% off of your purchase. Thank you members of the chapter for your continued views all of the likes that you've been giving all my videos, as well as the comments that you've been leaving in the comments section. You've all helped this channel grow to where we are at today. And I'm thankful for this community that we have grown together. And with that being said, I'll see you all in the next one.